We've been telling you about this major news that will impact the, the Bay Area housing market. Reports say an investment group called Blackstone is planning to drop a billion dollars on the Bay Area. And those connected to the deal say Blackstone will buy up to 15,000 homes over the next three years and then rent them out. The investment group is focusing on Hillsborough, Pinellas, Polk, and Pasco counties, where it could potentially affect nearly every homeowner, every renter, and every neighborhood. Well, joining us now to talk about the impact of this is Peter Murphy. He's CEO of Home Encounter in Tampa. Thanks so much, Peter, for being with us. First, to explain what your business does. We help people acquire and manage rental properties and, and investment properties for their portfolios. We help investors do that on a small and large level. Well, we want to point out, too, that you're not connected to Blackstone Group, mm -hmm. but you know a lot about what is going to happen here. Is this a good thing for the market or not? Yeah, you know, all signs are pointing to this being an excellent thing for the housing market. You know prices had a long way to recover and this kind of major investor activity is causing prices to climb at a much faster rate than if we were relying on just uh, ordinary home buyers to, to pick up the slack here. So from every from every perspective this seems like a really good thing for the local housing market. But if you're a first-time home buyer though you're looking to buy a piece of the American dream or, or a smaller investor it, does this kind of push them out of the market? Yeah this makes it really tough that's probably the only real negative here is that if you're a small person uh, a, a first time home buyer looking to buy a home and you're coming into the equation with financing or with an inspection contingency, you're not going to really look all that good compared to this cash investment buyer who's going to close immediately and not really care all that much about the condition. What about somebody who stayed in their home through the boom, then the bust? How is it going to affect their home values? Well, it, they could really see a, a, a really recovery in their home values if they purchased before that huge peak in home, in home prices back in 2005 and 2006. They might be able to actually sell their homes at a far uh, far higher price than they would did we not have this big institutional money coming in and stabilizing the local market now let's talk about the cultural shift here at play mm -hmm. are we becoming a nation of renters again and what does this do to the fabric of our communities what do you think about mm -hmm. that yeah without question uh, renting a property doesn't have a big stigma like it may may be used to have uh, and it might not be uh, integral to the American dream that everyone own a home these days folks love their flexibility they might want to live in a place for two years and then relocate in, uh, into another part of town or another part of the country. And owning a home prevents them from doing that. So, so certainly I think it's, it's viewed much more attractively than it used to be to rent versus own. Plus, you've got a lot of people who are ripe off of this housing decline who've, who are really burnt by that. Mm -hmm. And they may not want to be uh, put themselves at the mercy of the housing market again anytime soon. So yes, we are seeing a change to this being more of a renter market. I know a lot of people are thinking about that tonight. Also thinking about, okay, Blackstone, big company. Do they take care of their properties, big companies like this? Do they keep them up? Yeah, absolutely. We're, these folks who are buying these properties are looking to assemble them into portfolios and resell them, commoditize them, and resell them. So they have got an obligation to their investors to protect this, these, this collateral, these homes. They're also buying in HOA managed communities where deed restrictions are going to require them to keep their lawns cut and their, and their houses painted on the outside. We might find that these are more responsible homeowners uh, because they have so much money than the average homeowner that you might live next to who could go through an economic downturn and not be able to repaint their house, for example. These are going to be, I think, very responsible residents in our communities. Well, when I first heard about this, I mean, this is a huge amount of money, so many homes. I'm like, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. First of all, how big a deal is this and why did they choose our area? Well, anyone who's looking at the Tampa Bay area right now sees a perfect balance between the rent rates that a Tampa market produces and the purchase price. It allows them to be able to make around 8 to 10 percent or maybe more in some cases on their real estate investments. And so so from that standpoint, real estate investing is super attractive in Tampa Bay and maybe much more so than in other markets where rents just aren't as high, as high or where purchase prices are a little bit higher than they are here. Tampa had a huge decline and so it's really attractive for folks to come in, buy it up and benefit from stabilization and high rents. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. All right, Peter, thank you for joining us tonight. My pleasure.